Hi guys, today I uh, came across an interesting uh, creature uh, you don't see too often and uh, let's go over what I found. It's an arthropod, so it's not an insect, it has more than four legs and it doesn't go through any phases like uh, pupa, larva, adult, it, it's just born and gets bigger and it's the soil centipede and it's rarely seen unless a stone or leaf letter or wood or something in contact with the ground is moved. It hides in dark places. Soil centipedes, they look creepy, but they play an important role in the underground ecosystem. And happily for all, they are content to remain outside. Long, flexible bodies are capable of bending and curling. Movement is somewhat like another underground dweller, the earthworm. Both stretch and retract when moving. A low profile allows them to slip into narrow spaces that do not even seem to exist, like between a stone and the earth. Often hidden during the day and night, the presence is most often revealed when overhead shelter is moved. Sudden exposure sends them moving, not really running towards cover. They tunnel through soil, aerating it, and therefore by improving its quality, making it easier for plants to grow. Soil centipedes, like this species, are red. The legs are finer and less robust than other types of centipedes, like the ones you find in your house, <laughs> and are much shorter than house centipedes. Like I just said, they live on a diet of worms and underground insect larvae. Females guard and clean their eggs, keeping fungi from overcoming them. Offspring hatch with all of their legs intact. They do not add more as they mature. And this little guy is found all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So it is everywhere. Uh, when you're sitting on a grass, there's probably one digging a burrow right under you. And uh, they're rarely often seen unless you're uh, digging or you're lifting up a rock and and that's what I was doing today. I was uh, gathering some worms. Uh, I was was going to go fishing. Uh, but I I came across this little guy. And, and I thought I'd uh, look him up and find some information about him. And it does look just like a worm. So let's get back to the video, guys. There he goes. And he won't stay still. And the uh, there it is. I've never seen a long centipede. And he's definitely a centipede. I don't see the big mandibles in the front. So he's definitely a different species. So let's let's get my old jar here and uh, see if he wants to make it to the lid. Here he comes. There he goes. And look how crazy long he is. Is that something? <laughs> Excuse me, people. There's a lot of pollen. Mm. There we go. So, uh, before he tries to escape, we're going to let him go where I found him under this board and there we go come on guy now he wants to stay here there he goes okay so there he goes back where I found him He's so long, he looks like a worm. And, uh, there he goes back under the board. 
where we found them. And tell me if that's not the coolest centipede you've ever seen. There he goes. How he found that spot to hide, I don't know. But he should be okay now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.